Aloha. This lesson is about order of evaluation. This is going to be one of our shortest lessons, but there's a lot of detail in here, and I want you to pay close attention. So let me go ahead and share my VS screen with you. And here we have the order of evaluation. So this is really important. When you're looking at expressions, you're creating expressions, you need to know the order of operations, the precedence here. So the number one uh, precedented uh, thing is the parentheses. So parentheses are, anything in parentheses are always gonna be evaluated first. And one reason why I like to use parentheses and not necessarily rely on the order of evaluation is to make things explicit. Because sometimes you can look at something and not understand just looking at it, how it's gonna run. So I like to put things in parentheses because you always, the, the parentheses draw in your eyes and it shows you where you want to be actually uh, performing your calculations first. So after parentheses, the next thing with precedence is arithmetic operators. And that would be the multiplication, division, the modulo, the plus, and the minus. So those uh, we discussed in previous lessons, and that's the order of uh, their precedence, I believe. Uh, so those will be uh, considered next. Then the next one in order of uh, precedence is your relational operators. That includes your less than, your less than equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, your equality, which is the double equal sign, and the inequality, which is the, uh, the exclamation mark equal sign. And then after that, we have the logical not, we have after that the logical and, and then the logical or. So <clears throat> when you're in doubt about things, use parentheses. It's never a problem to use parentheses to make things explicit. And I like to do that just because I'm never quite sure what order these things you know, go in. So it helps to kind of make the implicit explicit. So let's take an example here. We have A equals one, B equals 12, and C equals 44. Now let's take a look at this. We've got not C greater than B times three or A plus C less than B. Now looking at this, it's just like, wow, where do we start? So we'll look at the top and there's no parentheses here. So then we're gonna have to look at our operators. So we have a multiplication here. So we're gonna have B times three is gonna be uh, executed. So B is 12, so that's gonna be 36. And C is 44, so we've got, uh, down here we've got 44 is greater than 36, um, or A plus C, so we run the, the A plus C next because it's arithmetic and it's done second. So A plus C is equal to uh, 13. So, um, wow, hold it. Uh, so we've got 13 is, Wait, did I mess up here? Yes, I did, I think. Oh, or uh, A plus C. Okay, so A plus C uh, is one plus 44, which is 45. Uh, so we've got 45 less than B, which is 12. So the whole thing reduces to not 44 greater than 36 or 45 less than 12. So we've got that uh, reducing. We The next thing we look at is our relational operators. So we've got 44 greater than 36. That is true, so we reduce that to true. Then we've got the uh, 45 less than 12, which is false. So we reduce that to false. So now we have not true or false. So the or, uh, yeah, the not has the next uh, order of precedence. So that would be not true, so we'd make that false. So we'd have uh, false or false, and false or false is equal to, you guessed it, uh, false. So um, that gives us you know, our answer finally, but it's an absolute mess. And you can make this so much easier just by using parentheses to make things explicit. So you can throw in your parentheses and make it a lot easier for people. So um, I've added a couple in here just to, you know, uh, to put some order to it. So if you wanted to get something a little bit uh, less crazy than what we had before, and you could even go in here and make it more explicit by going and adding in uh, your uh, your parentheses around the different things, like say that you wanted to uh, add A and C before you know, evaluating it to B. So you can add all this in to make it explicit. And when you go to run it, you should see that it comes out to false, just like above. 
So this just, you know, adding in parentheses just makes it easier. So you look for your innermost parentheses, you know, do those uh, actions. And that's just going to help you out a lot more in terms of readability, not just for you. You might remember what you wrote and why you wrote it, but the person that inherits your code probably has no clue what you were doing. They might be able to guess, but by using parentheses here and making things that were implicit explicit, it really will help out. And it also helps you if you're debugging too, because sometimes when you're doing something, you might mess up and forget your order of operations here and uh, you, or the order of precedence, and you might make a mistake. By doing this, by using your, uh, you know, your parentheses and making everything explicit, it helps out in the long run. It makes a lot more readable and it also reduces errors. So keep that in mind. And as I promised, this is gonna be the, the shortest lesson that we have in this whole series. So uh, we'll end it right there. See you in the next lesson.